യൂണിറ്റ് ഫോർ ത്രൂ ദ എലമെൻ്ററി കനാൽ ലെറ്റ് എസ് സ്റ്റാർട്ട് ദ ന്യൂ യൂണിറ്റ് ആഫ്റ്റർ ചെക്കിംഗ് ദ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻസ് ആൻഡ് ആൻസേഴ്സ് ഓഫ് ദ ലാസ്റ്റ് ക്ലാസ് ഹായ് ഐ ആം ഗൗരി ബി സ്റ്റഡിങ് ഇൻ സെവൻത് ഇ പ്രീവിയസ് ക്ലാസ് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻസ് ആൻഡ് ആൻസേഴ്സ് വൈ ഡോൺ വി കീപ് ഫുഡ് ഐറ്റംസ് ഇൻ മെറ്റൽ കണ്ടെയ്നേഴ്സ് ആസിഡ് റിയാക്സ് വിത്ത് മെറ്റൽസ് ദർ ഫോർ വി ഡു നോട്ട് കീപ് ഫുഡ് ഐറ്റംസ് ഇൻ മെറ്റൽ കണ്ടെയ്നേഴ്സ് റൈറ്റ് ആൻഡ് എക്സ്പെരിമെൻറ്റ് നോട്ട് ഓൺ മേക്കിംഗ് ഹൈഡ്രോജൻ ഗ്യാസ് Take dilute hydrochloric acid on a test tube and add zinc into it. Hydrogen gas is produced. Write two features of hydrogen gas. It is inflammable. Hydrogen gas evolves from the test tube and burns with a low noise when lighted. Write the name of scientist who contributed the name of hydrogen, Lavoisier. who and in which century invented for the first time that the reaction of the acid and metal causes for the formation of gas. have henry cavendish in 16th century write the literary meaning of hydrogen water producing write the name of solid acid boric acid write the name of two substances containing carbonate eggshell and chalk which gas is formed by the reaction of acids and carbonate what is the features of it carbon dioxide it distinguish fire Ra- what principle works on fire extinguisher acetic acid in the vinegar and sodium bicarbonate in baking soda reacts and carbon dioxide is formed fire extinguisher works on this principle the egg in the vinegar of the beaker seems to rise to the surface and then sinks why the egg rises to the surface and then sinks this action keeps on repeating carbonate in the egg shell reacts with acid and carbon dioxide is formed the egg ascends because carbon dioxide others in the form of bubbles in to the surface of the egg when the egg reaches the surface carbon dioxide exa- escapes and the egg descends name the acid found in ants formic acid write the name of two plants other than hibiscus to make indicators turmeric beetroot write four uses of acids manufacture of chemical fertilizer paints dyes etc food preservation and soft drink automobile battery production of ink and leather write four uses of alkalis manufacture of soap manufacture of detergents industrial purposes purification of water what is neutralization when definite amount of acids and alkalis are mixed together their acidic and alkaline power are lost and water and salt are produced this is called neutralization what is acidity acid is produced in the stomach to support digestion sometimes the amount of the acid increases in the stomach and it is called acidity write the three indicators used to identify acid blue hibiscus paper blue litmus paper methyl orange write three indicators used to identify alkali turmeric red litmus paper methyl orange what are the materials required for making soap caustic soda coconut oil water sodium silicate talcum powder thank you dear students the significant learning outcomes of the new unit are to know the importance of photosynthesis different stages in the process of nutrition the parts of digestive system importance of dental care mechanism by the body to eliminate waste and maintaining body hygiene all organisms need food the food and the mode of procuring it different form organism to organism the process of intake and utilization of food by organisms is called nutrition caterpillar nibbles the leaf butterfly is sucking honey birds pecking fruits cow bites grass tiger or lion bite and tear flesh fish swallows the small insects in the water in this way we can see diversity in the mode of procuring food plants are also organisms but we know how they produce food through photosynthesis photosynthesis is a process of making food in the leaves of plants with the help of carbon dioxide water and minerals and chlorophyll 
in the presence of sunlight. Green plants do not depend on other organisms for food. They synthesize their own food. Hence, they are called autotrophs. On the other hand, there are organisms which are unable to synthesize their own food and therefore depend on other organisms for food. They are called heterotrophs. We have learned earlier about the heterotrophs like parasitic plants and saprophytes. Loranthus depends for water and minerals on the plant on which it lives, but they produce food through photosynthesis, so they are called partial parasite. Sandalwood tree is another example of partial parasite. Plants that absorb food directly from the host plant is called total parasitic. Cascuta is the best example for it. Plants like Monotropa takes food from decayed organic remains. Such plants are called saprophytes. Mushroom also belongs to this category. There are parasites among animals too. Louse and flea are external parasites, but worm is an internal parasitic. They harm the health of organism in which they live. It is essential to take medicine once in six months to prevent worm infection. Now let us see the predators of the plant world. Elements like carbon, hydrogen, phosphorus, nitrogen, sulfur, calcium and iron are required for plants in large quantities. You know that certain bacteria present in the soil, acetobacter, nitrobacter, convert atmospheric nitrogen into nitrates. These bacteria may not be present in soil with high acidity. Plants which grow in such soil do not get nitrogen. It is to overcome this situation that such plants acquire the ability to catch insects. They obtain the required nitrogen through the digestion of the body of these insects. Sundew, Venus flytrap and pitcher plants are examples of insectivorous plants. We will learn the part food in humans in the next class. Now let us go through some questions. First, fill up this table. Second, what is photosynthesis? Third, what is nutrition? Four, write the difference between autotrophs and heterotrophs. Five, describe parasitic plants. Six, what is saprophytes? Seven, in which category does sandalwood tree belong? Eight, write examples of parasitic among animals. Nine, write examples of insectivorous. Ten, list the names of elements required for plants in large quantities. Eleven, name the bacteria which convert atmospheric nitrogen into nitrates. And last, twelve, why do we take tablets for worms?